Hello everybody, you're coming to my channel and today I want to discuss with you on um, some good ingredients you can use to make your rabbit, fa uh, rabbit feed and are very good for your rabbits and are going to help your rabbit to grow well. Now, we produce rabbit feed, pelletized rabbit feed on our farm and we sell them to various rabbit farmers across um, Nigeria and a lot of people buy rabbit pellets from us and they are getting very good results and if you want to get your rabbit pellet from us you are free to do so so the formula i want to drop on the group on the video today on this channel today is not to be a replacement for your rabbit pellets it's meant to be a supplement but a very very good supplement a supplement that can give your rabbits a very good growth development and you know uh can help them to gain very good muscular developments uh, are very good for nursing mother, pregnant rabbit, and all of them. They can naturally make use of this uh, formula. You can you, you can make use of the formula to produce a good rabbit feed for your rabbits. You understand? Because I made a video where I discovered the use of poultry feed for rabbits uh, 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 feeding, and I mentioned the reason why you should not use poultry feed. So a lot of people have been asking. Okay, so if you say we should not use poultry feed. Uh, what should we use and all of those things so that's what exactly that's exactly what inspired me to make this video so let's just get straight into it now in the natural habitat rabbits feed on grasses number one grasses and shrubs they feed on grasses they feed on shrubs they feed on a they feed on uh farm products they feed on um tubers like yam tubers potato cassava you know even stuff like granuts that are found under the roots you know these are root crops right yeah they feed on all of those things and they grow pretty well with it and they are so you know there's what we call animal instinct they have that instinct to know what to eat and what not to eat the kind of grasses to eat the kind of grasses not to eat and you know they are very very intelligent enough and quite selective of what is right and what is wrong are you with me now okay so that being said uh we need to understand that when we are domesticating rabbits in our farm either in your domestic home or on a standard farm you have compartmentalized the movement of your rabbit you have you have restricted the movement of your rabbit to the uh confinement of their cage and now if you do so for your rabbit as an husband man, as the animal husband man, you are supposed to provide for them everything they need to maximize their growth to do well. You understand? So their growth now is not completely at their own mercy, but it's at the mercy of you, who is the one in charge of their well-being. You understand? I always tell people, we should not practice animal cruelty in any way. If for the fact that we have dominion over them and we are the one that own them, does not mean that they should be treated, you know, carelessly. No, they should actually be treated very well because it is garbage in and garbage out. Whatever it is that you give them is actually what they are going to give you back in return. You understand? So if you want to get the best from them, then you definitely want to take good care of them. So let's go straight into it. I'm just going to give you some few ingredients that you can, you know, grind together and produce very good rabbit feed for your rabbit and you can feed your rabbit and raise your animals on that particular formulation number one is maize you can get maize number, number one is maize number two is cassava peel now some people used to say well we thought cassava peel has carbohydrate so because it has carbohydrate it can be used to replace maize that's not completely true that's not completely true that's not completely true except you don't want to get quality you know we should not be quantity cautious it should be quality conscious it should be quality over quantity right so you want to get maize cassava peel the next thing is you want to get pkc pkc means palm carne cake palm carne cake pkc means palm carne cake so you want to get pkc you want to get pkc the next thing you want to get wheat bran wheat bran with brand all these things are available at the feed me you can just go to the feed me and say i want to buy with brand then the next one is beans chaff now i know a lot of people here might not know what beans chaff is so i've simplified the process for you this is beans chaff i'm sure you can see it this is what we call beans chaff this is beans chaff so you can you can get this beans chaff for your rabbits right and add to that which you want to use to make their feed right then you can also add this i think i mentioned this before in one of my videos 
this is very good for your rabbit. It has a lot of fiber, it has a lot of uh, uh, carbohydrates, and even some other minerals in it. You understand? Yeah. So the next thing is you want to get bone meal. Bone meal is very important for the strength, for calcium supply, for sodium as well, for your rabbit. And you can naturally use in a place, in a situation where there is no bone meal, you can actually use uh limestone yes you can add some limestone now you in a little quantity please in a little quantity yes not so much not so much quantity then um you can uh use you can also gather some of you are people that do you know uh, egg grow right so the 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 people that make use of egg grow they definitely make use of poultry egg so the shell the shell from the poultry egg you can actually make use of it to make your rabbit feed okay so this is the shell from poultry egg you can actually use this shell and add it to that which you want to use to make your poultry and your rabbit feed, right? Okay, so the next thing is you want to add your soya beans. Soya beans, you know, soya beans. I think that people call it toasted soya. It's the same thing, right? Yeah, you want to use your soya beans. Then you want to add what we call GNC. GNC is called granite cake. Granite cake. Now, this granite cake, it has a lot of protein. It has a lot of oil, you know, it has a lot of minerals and it also has a very good smell, very attractive smell for your rabbits. You know, rabbits smell food before they eat it. So you want to add granite cake to your rabbit feed, you know, so you, that is very important also. Then whatever it is that you use, let's say for instance, the total, the total, the total um, component of what you are using is of what you have granted is 100 kg if it is 100 kg then you want to use for that 100 kg you want to use 150 gram salts yes it is very important that you should include you should include um, a level a quantity of salts in your rabbit um, feed you want to add 150 gram salt so i hope you all remember all the ingredients i mentioned so you can mash all these ingredients together what i mean by mash them together is grind them together is that okay now some people might be like okay what if there's no wheat bra if there's no wheat bra you can use rice bra in a situation where there's no wheat bra you can use right rice bra the only thing is that i prefer the wheat bra because it also adds to the smell and it has more protein in it it has more protein in it even though it's also a very good fiber source yet it has more protein in it you understand yeah so you can add it together um grind them together it's a very very good it makes a very good feed for your rabbits and you know you watch them when you give to your rabbits you watch their pool you watch their performances their growth rate their development after some few days of administering it you know it can help you to decide and to determine how uh, rich it is for your rabbit so i believe this will go a long way to help a lot of rabbit farmers because sometimes people will be like i'm in a far location i might not be able to buy the pellet uh, pelletized feed from you and some people might be like okay where i am they don't sell rabbit feed now you know what to use you can go to the um the um, feed mill and get your own rabbit feed you know you understand and buy your rabbit feed from them and then you can process your own rabbit feed and your rabbit can be fine and grow well i hope you learned something from this video please do have to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you are gaining value from this video if you have any question do well to drop your comments and you can contact me through my phone number on the screen if you have any question as well you can get in touch and i'm sure i'll be here to attend to you thanks for watching the video thanks for subscribing to our channel so next time we have a lot of videos this year trusting god for the grace to help us come and you know keep giving value to each and every one of you Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.